Today's topic is gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes occurs when a woman without diabetes develops high blood sugar levels while being pregnant. Gestational diabetes typically develops between the 24th and 28th week of pregnancy. The raised blood sugar level associated with this condition can affect you and your baby's health if not properly treated. If poorly treated, babies born may be at a high risk of being too large, having low sugar after birth, jaundice, and increased risk for respiratory distress syndrome. If untreated, it can result in stillbirth. It affects 1% of pregnancy in those under the age of 20 and 13% of those over the age of 44. In 90% of cases, the condition resolves after the baby is born. However, it raises the mother's risk of developing type 2 diabetes in the future. It also increases the risk of preeclampsia, depression, and requiring a C-section. Causes Researchers don't understand the exact cause of gestational diabetes, but hormones are likely to play a role. Gestational diabetes is thought to occur because of the many hormonal changes that occur in the body during pregnancy. During pregnancy, the placenta that connects the baby to your blood supply produces a high level of various other hormones. These hormones may start to make your body resistant to insulin. Insulin is the hormone that helps glucose move from your bloodstream into your body's cell, where it is used up as energy. Insulin is made by the specialized cell in the pancreas that allows the body to effectively metabolize glucose. As the baby grows, more insulin-resistant hormone is produced by the placenta, provoking a rise in the glucose levels that can affect the growth and welfare of the baby. Any woman can develop gestational diabetes, but you may be at a higher risk if you are over the age of 25, have a family history of diabetes, have a previous history of gestational diabetes, are significantly overweight, have African, Native American, Asian, or Hispanic ancestry, have polycystic ovary syndrome, have previous poor obstetric history, have previously given birth to a baby weighing more than 9 pounds, are a smoker. Symptoms. It is rare for symptoms to occur, but if they do, they may include fatigue, excessive thirst, excessive need to urinate, blurred vision. Diagnosis and treatment. The American Diabetes Association employs all doctors to routinely screen a pregnant woman for signs of gestational diabetes. If your risk factor is low, the doctor will likely screen you for the condition when you are in your 24th or 28th week of pregnancy. If you are at a high risk, your doctor may test for diabetes at the first prenatal visit. Glucose challenge test may be the first line of action. In this test, you drink a syrup glucose solution, after which your blood is tested an hour later to measure your blood sugar level. A blood sugar level below 130 to 140 milligrams per deciliter is considered normal. If your blood sugar is above that, it may suggest that you have a higher risk. To determine if you have gestational diabetes, a glucose tolerance test may be required. The glucose tolerance test is performed after an overnight fasting, after which your blood sugar level is measured. A higher concentration glucose solution is then given to you to drink, and your blood sugar level measured after every hour for three hours. If at least two of the blood sugar level is higher than normal, diagnosis is confirmed. Treatment. To keep the baby healthy, monitoring and controlling the blood sugar level is highly important. This may help to avoid complications during your pregnancy and delivery. Your baby's growth and development will as well be monitored with ultrasounds and other tests. A healthy diet that focuses on fruits, vegetables, and whole grains may be one of the best ways to control this. Highly refined carbohydrates, such as sweets, should be avoided. And try to not gain too much weight, as this can put you in too much risk of complication. Regular exercise lowers blood sugar and may as well help in relieving some discomforts of pregnancy. Insulin injection may be administered if other treatment options fail.
Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.